Okay, we'll look at some basic shapes now. Um, I'm going to draw a rectangle to start with, and this one's going to have a colour fill of orange filled in. Um, if I hold down when I'm on my move tool, I'll choose my move tool so I can select my object, move it around. If I hold down the Alt button, which I'm going to do now, watch what happens to the little black cursor. See, it turns into that two two triangle cursor. If I now drag, it creates a second copy. So each time I do that, I can create a new another copy of the same thing. So that'll be really useful for duplicating objects once you've um, actually produced them. Um, the other thing is creating triangles. Creating triangles is actually quite easy, but it shows you another skill here at the same time. I'm going to choose the polygon tool. Now, if I draw a polygon at the moment, and I'm still holding down the left mouse button, so I haven't doesn't actually set the size until I let go of it. While I've still got my mouse mouse button held down, if I press my up and down button, you can see it changes. I'm going to go the other way now. The number of sides to my polygon. So obviously, a three-sided polygon produces a triangle. I can get it roughly to the kind of size I want to start with. Once I let go of my mouse button, it fills in. But now, if I select my move tool again, I get my um, border around it. I can now choose to make this whatever kind of triangle I want it to be. And I can even, if I go up to the top corner, you can see that turns into a rotation symbol. I can now move it around to put it into a different position um, to help me with my drawing. Once you've got one triangle or one object, you can um, produce more of them quite easily using the Alt feature and dragging. I've got three of them here. Now if I decided I wanted to use those same three again, maybe by keeping them in the same pattern, I can now drag over all of them so that they're all selected as one object, use my Alt drag again and duplicate all of them at the same time. I could even then, if I wanted to, do, do things like move them all about as a group because they're still all selected together. This gives you quite a lot of versatility in terms of making shapes without doing too much work to produce them.